<clears throat> Hello everybody, my name is Lovable Idiot, and today we're just going to be talking about Power World drama. If you don't know what Power World is, it's a new monster taming uh, video game franchise that just came out like a week ago. It sold like 8, 7 million copies, and then, po <laughs> and then Pokemon and Pokemon fans are scared. Alright, so let's talk about the Pokemon Company fi finally addresses Power World drama. We intend to investigate. Dude, they're scared. Um, I'm saying right now, they're scared and they're only doing this because of the the vocal minority Pokemon fans. Okay? Um, what's the... Like, Jesus Christ. Okay. The Pokemon Company is scared. The Pokemon Company has finally addressed this power world situation, ensuring they intend to investigate and take appropriate measures, which basically means, Hi, we're scared, so we're going to try to see if they're doing anything illegal in regard to any possible infringement on their intellectual property. Which, you know, they have the right to do. The power world has taken the entire world by storm to start 2024, originally able to ask Pokemon with guns. The smash hit... That shattered record in Steam in short order has players gathering resources, crafting items, bases, and weapons while caching pals around in the open world, much like the series in comparison. <sighs> okay, let's talk about that real quick. Pow, from what I've seen, I've never played Power World before. I, I, okay, I've never played Power World, but from what I've seen, it is 100% completely different than Pokemon. It takes more inspiration of... Breath of the Wild, Legends Arceus, at, at least like in Legends Arceus and Breath of the Wild. M well, okay, more so Breath of the Wild and other survival games, right? Because it's there's actually survival in there. It's a survival RPG video game. Okay, it's a survival RPG video game that just so happens to have monsters in it that you can catch and basically use them for labor, right? How is that Pokemon? How, how, how is that Pokemon? Okay. It's not Pokemon with guns. It's literally its own, its own thing. Okay. And the only comparison that, that people are making about it is it's, you catch monsters. And which, and, okay, I'm going to go on a little rant here. So, basically, these Pokemon fans, right, they go after anything, they go after anything, insult anything, and it's not, okay, it's not all the Pokemon fans, okay? I'm a Pokemon fan, and I love all our Monster Taming franchises, and then so many other great Pokemon fans love other Monster Taming franchises, okay? They're the, the vast majority of Pokemon fans are really kind human beings, and they they really probably don't care or probably support another monster taming franchise, okay? It's not all Pokemon fans, it's just a, the small vocal minority on online that's like, Oh my god, I'm threatened by another monster taming franchise. Anyway, so basically the comparison, right? Basically the comparison is there's monsters in it, which makes it a ripoff, right? Let's take the Digimon franchise for into portions, shall we? Let's take the Digimon franchise into account. Where is my... I'm an idiot. Okay, hold on, I'll be right back. I hope I was looking for a different case. Anyway, let's take let's take the Digimon uh, games for example. They, they've been the notorious one for many decades to be the blatant Pokemon ripoff. You know, Digimon here is the is you know is one of many that receives scrutiny from the the Pokemon fans that you know the vast the sorry I'm gonna well, vocal minority there there's a there's a crap ton of like vocal minority people but one of the infamous it's Pokemon ripoff because the monster taming mechanics it's really the only thing in comparison is Digimon right. Digimon's under a lot of scrutiny for that because there's you can't have more than one video game monster taming franchise. It's like right, but see Digimon. 
I, I love these games. If anybody watches this, you should at least check out Star Cyber Sleuth. It's, it's, it's great. And I'm, I'm getting off topic. So the only comparison to, of it is Pokemon is you catch monsters. Let's, let's just completely forget about the fact that it, there's survival in it, crafting, and, you know, that stuff, right? There's, there's gathering resources, crafting, making bases, crafting weapons, right? How the, how is that similar to freaking Pokemon, right? How is that similar to this? How is that similar to a, a franchise that has been turn-based, sorry, turn-based RPGs up until Legends Arceus and Scarlet and Violet, sorry, right? How how is how is something that's more in comparison to freaking Breath Breath of the freaking Wild here and Tears of the Kingdom a Pokemon ripoff, right? Okay. Po the Pokemon Company, I'm just gonna say, you know, right now, they're 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 embarrassed and that's why they're they're investigating because they're basically a little bit scared. That a uh, indie, indie title <laughs> is racking up money and is more popular right now than the current video game, which looks like a freaking beta test. Okay, this planet controversy has bubbled up ever since its early access release, with everything from AI allegations to copycat clone allegations far and wide across social media. Again, by a small vocal minor vocal minority, that is feels threatened because another monster taming franchise is on the scene we've seen it with digimon we've seen it with all, all these other monster taming games and these vocal minority people think that pokemon sh it should be the only monster taming game out there because it's the better it's better and you know pokemon supremacy basically right pokemon supremacy Right, Pokemon supremacy. Keep that in mind. All right. Well, now after days of remaining silent because they were threatened and embarrassed, now, uh, embarrassed. Uh, we'll get why to. We'll get into the embarrassment. I'll show some videos about the embarrassment. Pokemon Company has addressed the matter while not naming Pyroad explicitly. It trying to. January 24th statement touched on another company's game released in 2024. Wow. They could not even name it, bro. We have not granted any permission for the use of Pokemon intellectual property or assets. That game, the statement reads, clearly implying Power World. They didn't, though. They didn't, though. Y y they didn't, though. You want to know something, Pokemon uh, franchise? You want to know something? Game Freak? You know what you, got, you all did? You guys basically copied. If, we're, if we want to play that territory. You all copied uh, Dragon Quest with your video games. And, and, I'll, and I'll throw comparisons on the screen right now. You, you see that? You ripped off that. See that? You ripped off that. That looks like a tentacle. Wow, Game Freak. Wow, Pokemon. You guys forgot that you did that? You, people aren't allowed to have, like, inspirations? That the, what? Then what the f crap is art? You, you guys... Pokemon doesn't own the Monster Taming franchise. Pokemon doesn't own... Sorry, the Monster Taming name. Pokemon doesn't own the RPG name. If anything, if you want to argue and complain about it, it's it's a Breath of the Wild clone. It's a Breath of the Wild clone. They're only investigating crap because it has monsters in it. Okay? And you won't know it. We'll go through the monster comparisons. And we'll see how original they are. Okay? Let's, let's go back to, to this. They're, they're embarrassed and they're... And they're 
They're only doing this because they're embarrassed. We intend to investigate and take appropriate measures to address any acts that infringe on intellectual property rights related to Pokemon. We we'll continue to cherish and nurture each and every Pokemon in its world and work to bring the other world through Pokemon in the future. And work to bring the world together. To bring the world together, you guys should just make the vocal minority hush, dude. It's like. Where where was this our age when when Game Freak copied Dragon Quest monster designs? Where was this outrage when Digimon and investigations and crap when Digimon came out? Where was this crap? Oh, it's only because wine babies are are taking action and attacking people for another monster taming franchise. As it's still early days yet into Power World's release, through its sales figures would have you thinking otherwise. The Pokemon Company is clearly weighing its options for now, launching an investigation to the surprise 24 hit. It's yet unclear exactly what they might take issue with. Dude, there's no issue. There's no issue. Alright, let's look at Power World, and then I'll get to Scarlet and Violet. Okay, let's look at Power World. And I will get into Scarlet and Violet. Let's just let's just let's just look at this, okay? Let's just, let's just look at this. Uh, Pow World gameplay, okay? Pow World gameplay. Let's let let's let's look at this. Uh, might have I might have to. Crap! I, I might have to show another YouTuber in my. Let's let's watch Dashy here. Okay. This is Dashy XP's video. You see how you see how polished that game looks? You see how like amazing this game looks? See how beautiful this looks? Okay, that look, okay, I won't lie, that looks like a meganium, but they don't own eyes. Okay. Okay, monster design wise. Pokemon doesn't own the eyes. Alright, the eyes have been a thing since Dragon Quest. Basically, they look like freaking Dragon Ball Z eyes, right? Pokemon doesn't own round eyes. Pokemon doesn't own... Myth... Pokemon... Look. Pokemon does not own this type of face. Pokemon does not own these type of eyes. Pokemon does not own eyes and, and crap like that, okay? They don't. They they don't. And that. Sorry, I'm not trying to. Just get. Okay. And that other thing we saw earlier, they do not own faces. They do not own round monster faces. Just because it looks like a megan meganium doesn't mean it's freaking meganium. Okay, anybody can use those faces. Just because Pokemon uses the face. Right? Just because Pokemon uses the face. Look at that. See? Why is that so dim? Pokemon does not own faces. What the hell? Pokemon does not own faces. That does not own faces. Pokemon does not own a face. I will keep saying that until the day I die. That is an original design to monster, and just because it has round eyes like Meganium does not mean Pokemon owns the round eye crap, okay? Now let's look at Scarlet and Violet. I will be right back. Look at, there's a Dratini. There's a Dratini. I have to catch the Dratini. I'm sorry. Like you see, you see this crap. How do, how does this? How does this look like Power World? How how is this? How does this look like Power World? Okay. I don't want to catch this one. How does this look like Power World? How? How how is this Power World? Look, a turn-based RPG. Oh my. Okay, let's look at it. Let's just run around. I'm just going to embarrass Pokemon real quick. Let's just run around and see how laggy this mess is. Okay. I'll just run around and we're just going to... 
I'm just going to show you how, how laggy this crap is. You, you, you see how disgusting this looks? You see that frame rate drop? You, you see the choppy move? You see the choppy movements? All right. Oh, I didn't know. Oh, I didn't know those were in the game. I didn't know that that was in the game. Anyway, let, let's just get on top. Let's just breath of the wild our way in in this game. Which, 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 uh. The gliding mechanic? Let's, let's... The gliding mechanic? Oh my god, this is breath... You, oh my god, all this. You see that glitch? You just see that glitch? And you, you, you see how disgusting this game looks? What What is that frame? What, what is that choppiness? What is that frame rate? Okay, what is that choppiness and what is that frame rate? Oh my god. You call this... You call this a, a good game? Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I kinda had, did have fun with it, but... <laughs> you just see how terrible it looks? Okay. See how terrible it looks? Hey, Golduck. Okay, see those eyes? Golduck has those eyes. But does that mean that that yellow-looking thing... ...is a Golduck? No, it's not. Okay, let's, get, let's look at something else. Let's look at... Dragon Quest is it designs real quick. <gasps> Nani? Let's let's look at this. Let's look at this. Zubat, Crowbat, they look the same. Oh my god, I hate this tablet. <sighs> Nidoran, Pinsir, Ammonite. L look at that, look at look at that. But Power World is Power Power World is ripping off Pokemon, right? But when when Game Freak themselves has rip rip ripped off uh that, right? But where was the backlash when that happened, right? Where was the backlash? Oh wait, that's not. They took what's that? What's the word? Inspiration. Inspiration. Everybody here with me on this? They took inspiration from Dragon Quest to help make the designs for Pokemon. And what is Power World doing, probably? They took inspiration from Pokemon to create their 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 monsters, right? They took inspiration. Inspiration. You want okay? Let's look at at least this one, right? That does not look like that. That is its own completely separate thing. There's a just because it has it's poofy does not make it a freaking Cinderace. Okay. Cry about it. And those just look like Studio Ghibli characters. And I'm pretty sure Pokemon probably or Game Freak took inspiration for Glaring Meowth from Ghibli characters. That. That looks like a Ghibli character. Wait, what? Egg Wait, what? What? Same face, same teeth placement, wide and yellow eyes, identical. What? Let's look at Ghibli monsters. Or more compares. Let's look at Totoro. Let's look at Totoro. Totoro. Totoro uses spiky teeth that that you see that that's freaking daughter right there that's a big boy but let's look at the cheshire cat shall we we're gonna look at the cheshire the cheshire cat All I saw basically was like a more Cheshire cat type deal here. So basically, oh wait, you can't have the yellow eyes? Okay, well look at this. Maybe Disney should go after Pokemon and any other monster team franchise that uses yellow eyes. Cheshire cat has yellow eyes. Okay, let's look at...
Let's look at the Totoro Cat Buzz. Totoro Cat Buzz. Wanna know what's how's that? Yellow eyes and grin. The Totoro Cat Buzz. Oh my god. The Totoro the Totoro Gat Cat Buzz. Let's open another tab here to embarrass the ever living crap out of people. Okay. Let's look at Gore and Meowth. That to me just looks like inspiration from Studio Ghibli, and that looks like Studio Ghibli. Just because they have the exact same looking face and teeth does not mean Pokemon owns that, okay? Pokemon only owns their intellectual creatures and monsters. They do not own how people design the monsters. He looks like a Studio Ghibli cat. Let's just go back here. Let's just go back here. You people don't know what the hell you're talking about. Let's look at the Lucario looking thing. That looks like it's more so inspired off of Egyptian mythology than whatever the hell that thing is. Okay? That looks like it's inspired by Egyptian mythology. That does not make it a Lucario ripoff. Nor a clone. Okay? You people are insatiable. Okay? That thing? It looks like a freaking wolf. Okay? What? Wolves are not... Cold looking wolves are not supposed to have a mane? Oh my god, there's so many other wolf characters in anime. Well, you know what? Let's look at... Hold on, let me let me move here real quick. If you are going after the wolf designs, look at Monster Rancher Wolf. Okay, look at the Gray Wolf in Monster Rancher. Okay, and now keep in mind the Gray Wolf in Monster Rancher existed way before Lycanroc. Okay, let's look at Lycanroc. You kidding me, dude? I... Oh my god! Pokemon took inspiration to make Lycanroc from Monster Rancher's Dire Wolf. Oh my god! Anyway, this whole situation is stupid. Okay, you can take inspiration from a company, right? Just because little. Just because little, just because you feel threatened, and that I'm gonna keep saying, just because you feel threatened, that a monster taming franchise, another one, uh, went on the scene, came on the scene, and hit the world by storm, and you feel threatened by it because it sold over a million copies, and just because it has monsters in it, that took inspiration from a company that I bet you that the company really liked and looked up to, okay? Many, many content creators take inspiration from different monster games, video games. Pokemon Game Freak took monster inspiration designs from Dragon Quest and made it themselves. They took it, they took inspiration from Monster Rancher, Dot Grey Wolf, to make it look like a Lycanroc, okay? I proved that. You can have inspiration, okay? You don't own the eyeballs. You don't own you don't own spiky teeth when we all know that 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 glaring mouth now looks like a Studio Ghibli character. You do not own facial designs, you do not own spiky teeth, you do not own yellow eyes. Pokemon does not own these things. Okay, they own their each individual Pokemon that they created, over 1,000 of them, based, and artists are allowed to take inspiration from designs and make it their own. That's how art works, that's how it's been working since the, the creation of time. You're allowed to take inspiration from something and make it your own creation. 
Just don't blame. Just obviously don't plagiarize. Don't say that Galarian Meowth is yours when you draw it or something. Take inspiration design and make your own dang cat or whatever. Anyway, my name is Lovable Idiot. This whole situation is stupid. Wine babies are scared beyond belief that another monster taming franchise is take took the world by storm. Now Pokemon is taking action to to make sure that nothing is a blatant ripoff. Okay, that's their right. They just want to see if their property is being taken advantage of, even though the designs of the pals look like they're just taking inspiration, okay? Just like Game Freak took inspiration from Dragon Quest and Monster Rancher for crap, okay? Anyway, my name is Lovable Idiot. This whole situation is stupid. The vocal min minority is stupid. And... Yeah, it's it's just a stupid situation. There, there's you're you're allowed to have other monster taming franchises, okay? Pokemon's not the only one that's going to exist. And you know what? One day, Pokemon is going to cease to exist, okay? I'm pretty sure no. I'm pretty sure all the old people at Game Freak don't want to keep working on one franchise for the rest of their life. And I'm pretty sure they're not going to go up to Generation 10 after past Generation 10, if anything. Maybe at least stop at, like, Generation 11 or 12, okay? They're not going to keep going for, like, 20 more years to make Generation 20. Let's be real here. And in its place, something different will arise from it, okay? Pokemon is not going to exist forever, and we need to accept that. And if something else comes into fray to compete with Pokemon, good, because their games look trashy, okay? Scarlet and Violet is, is an embarrassment. Sword, I will say right now, Sword and Shield looks like a more complete game than Scarlet and Violet. Sun and Moon look like a more complete game than Scarlet and Violet. Anyway, my name is Level Idiot. Thank you, everybody, for watching my rant, and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye-bye.